guys, it's Daniela, and before I start the video, let me just address the elephant in the room, my hair. Yes, I I tried to do uh, space buns today, um, and they're kind of coming out now, so uh, we're just we're just rolling with it. Um, they looked better earlier, but yeah, they're kind of they're not they don't last very long. So, but we're just we're just gonna roll with it. Um, yeah. Anyways, this week's theme on Wowzer Fine Squad is plans for this year slash resolution slash anything similar, I guess. <laughs> uh, so today, I'm just gonna sit down and talk for a few minutes about what this year is looking like for me, what I have planned, and just stuff like that. Um, so anyways, without any further ado, uh, let's just get started. Okay, so um, this video is not going to really be in any particular order, or it's not really organized. I'm really just talking from what comes up in my mind. Um, so yeah. Uh, so one thing that I am doing this year to start off is uh, a little Instagram thing that I like to call Project 366. Uh, it's self-explanatory. Um, basically, that just means I'm posting a picture on Instagram every day of this year, all 366 days of this year. Um, I did it four years ago. I completed it successfully. I did not miss a day. I was very dedicated to it. Um, and so I am bringing it back because I had a lot of fun the last time I did this project. Um, and so far it is going well. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, currently as I'm recording this, it is day five. Um, I already posted my daily Instagram posts. Um, when you're watching this, it is day six, so we will see what I post for day six. Um, but I'm five days into the project so far, and it is going well. I have not missed a day, and I intend to not miss a day. Um, yeah, I and I intend to keep doing this every four years until, I, basically for <laughs> however long I live, basically. That's what I intended to do. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, another thing that I'm doing, which is very similar, is, uh, which I also did four years ago, is uh, one second a day. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm taking a one second video. Uh, I'm doing it on Snapchat and I'm saving it to my memories because Snapchat has like the date sticker on it. Um, and so I'm putting the date sticker on it um, so, so that each video can have the date on it. Um, but I basically, I take a video on Snapchat. I don't post it to my story, but I save it to my memories. And then at the end of the year, then I put it together in a video um, and it makes a really cool video. Um, so yeah, so that's another thing that I'm doing. Yeah. Um, let's see, what else am I doing? I really want to go skydiving this year. Um, I have been wanting to go skydiving like literally forever and I plan to do it this year. I actually do have a plan of when I'm going to do it and I'm going to, I'm not going to tell you guys yet because that is going to be a surprise, but uh, I am planning on making a video of it um, and posting it um, so that you guys can see it because um, I like I've actually had this this very specific plan for a long time now um, and so you guys are gonna see uh, when I do it and it's gonna be so fun and I'm so excited um, I have not booked it yet. I've not booked anything yet but I am planning on doing that soon I really hope that everything works out that I can do it on the day that I have been planning on doing it for literally the last four years um, yeah I have been I have been wanting to skydive that is on my bucket list and I know it's not for everyone uh, for me personally like I have always wanted to do it my mom on the other hand would never skydive it's not her thing and 
she knows that I intend to do it, and uh, she's scared but excited for me. Um, but I am gonna do it, and uh, you guys are gonna hear all about it, and yeah, it's gonna be a thing. So let's see. Another thing that is happening this year is I am graduating this year, which is insane to say. That is absolutely insane. Um, so technically I'm graduating next fall. I was supposed to graduate this, uh, this coming semester, um, but I am graduating a semester late. Um, but I am, I am graduating this year. I mean, hopefully, if my if my plans stay, uh, if if everything goes according to plan, um, and I don't like fail a class or anything, which I like, I'm I'm hoping I don't fail a class, um, but I have faith in myself. So, um, as of now, my plan is to graduate this uh, next so next fall. So like at the end of this year is when I am graduating, and then I'm gonna have to figure out what the heck do I do with the rest of my life? Um, I have some plans, some, I guess, possible plans for my career. Um, I am a music major, uh, if y'all didn't know. Uh, I actually used to be a performance major, but I recently changed to Bachelor of Arts in Music with a uh, minor in Mass Communications which is why I'm graduating late because I have to finish my minor up because uh, I just started my minor like last semester because uh, I just recently changed majors. Um, long story short, the reason I had changed majors is because I found that while I do still love to perform, it's one of my favorite things to do, uh, the requirements that I had to fulfill being a performance major ended up being a little bit too much for me. Um, it was without going into too much detail, um, it was it was just too much for me to uphold and uh, just too many, like, just, just, too, just too many expectations for me to uphold and I realized that it was, it was just too much for me and I needed to uh, scale it down a little bit. So um, I, but I still wanted to be a music major. I still knew that, um, so I, switch to a more general major in music, um, but I was required to choose a minor, so I chose mass communications for my minor. So yes, um, I am actually finished with all of my required music courses, um, although I'm still in orchestra, but that is completely by choice. I'm technically done with all my required orchestra stuff, but I chose to continue in orchestra until I graduate because I just love it so much. And like, I have no other music classes and I wanted to still feel like a music major. So I'm continuing in orchestra. Uh, but as of now, like I'm done with all my required music stuff for my degree. And so really now it's just about finishing up my minor and my uh, core classes. So yeah. Um, so I'm gonna finish my degree and graduate this year and uh, I'm excited to graduate but I'm also nervous because that means that I have to uh, go into the real world um, but I have faith in myself and I feel like um, I'm whatever happens um, like I'm going to figure it out um, and now that I have a minor um, in mass communications, that kind of opens up more job opportunities. Um, because if, if you guys didn't know, uh, music majors who then go into the field of music, the vast majority of them uh, do not make very much money. It's just the nature of the field. Um, like the people, the musicians that actually like make a lot of money are like the people who get famous. Um, which is not very, uh, that's, <laughs> that's not very realistic for a lot of people. Um, the vast majority of musicians do not make a lot of money. And, uh, it's, it's because like the field of music, there's not like, 
it's not like a field where people have like nine to five like steady income jobs uh, most people in the music industry have like multiple streams of income that are really not a lot of money like they're making money from maybe teaching lessons and also doing gigs and like doing whatever else and like that like doesn't make a lot of money so when I was a performance major like I had to kind of accept that and get used to that fact get used to the fact that I probably uh at least for the first few years post graduation would have to probably be working retail to kind of help pay the bills um of course that wouldn't be something I would do until I retire but I had to kind of get used to the fact that I would have to be doing that for at least a while um but now with my minor in mass communications uh I might not need to go that route um I am what I'm what I'm probably thinking about doing for like a career is doing something in mass communications but something that relates to music because it, it is important to me that I have music in my job somewhere because that is my passion after all my passion is music my passion is not mass communications it's music um, so that's like the most important thing for me is I want to have a job that is related to music in some way um, so what that might look like is working in radio which is sounding like a very viable option for me um, and that sounds like something that I would really enjoy uh, is like working in radio there's a classical music radio station that I listen to a lot I've been listening to it for so long and uh, I might end up working there which is really cool and because I'm also classically trained that is what I really specialize in is classical music that's kind of the music that I'm used to playing uh, if you guys see my my personal channel you know I do a lot of violin covers of like pop songs but those are more for fun I, I do those like for fun because I enjoy doing them but uh, I am I identify as a classical musician um, I'm in orchestra I play classical music and that's kind of what I play on a more uh, what's the word on a more like serious level I guess like a more like that's 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 basically what I focus on um so yeah so if I can work at um like in classical radio that would be really cool um and of course like I could still like do gigs on the side every once in a while um because I still want to perform I still love performing so yeah um I do not know why this turned into this this video turned from from me talking about my plans for specifically this year to my career plans um so sorry I got slightly off topic but I guess it's not really off topic because I am graduating this year so I that kind of transitions into my career um but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, just kind of me talking without any real notes or anything just talking from like the top of my head really um, But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have an uh, amazing year um, Yeah, so this is my first video of the year also I don't remember if I mentioned that at the beginning of the video, but it is my first video of the year So yay for that um, and anyways, I guess that is pretty much it and don't forget to have a wowzerfyingly wowzerfying day filled with lots of wowzerness, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out, y'all. Woo!